watching this. Meanwhile, no one knows when banks will be allowed to foreclose. They're just waiting to foreclose on those properties right now, and that will actually help buyers when they lift that to give us more inventory to purchase. Murray says when that happens, foreclosed homes will actually help for sale numbers look closer to normal. For now, so few homes means the best of time for sellers. I think there was just a lot of emotion in the market, and there probably still is because of the pandemic. A pandemic creating continuous housing questions, not only over high prices and bidding wars, but for those struggling to pay mortgages and rent. We have even more perspective from the longtime Miami Valley real estate agent I talked to live right now on our free streaming app, WHIO TV Now, on your Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and smart TV devices. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. Here we are looking into almost Tuesday. Hopefully, tomorrow is better than it was today. Yeah, it's close to that. <laughs> Very little sun, lots of rain. Yeah, it, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, we'll have warmer temperatures okay. and maybe some peaks for sunshine. Okay. Now, there is going to be a chance for some showers around, but you know what? We're, we're taking the pendulum and swinging it up with our temperatures. All right, we'll take it. And I know Molly's going to love the five-day forecast because she loves the warmer weather, and yeah. it's on the way in. Here's a look outside right now in Troy. All is quiet. You can see the pavement is still a little bit wet from earlier this afternoon and evening when some showers were working through this part of the Miami Valley. Temperatures not too cool, even though we did track some rain moving through. We'll look at those numbers steadily falling into the night, but it won't be too chilly, that's for sure. Live Doppler 7, we scan the skies for you, and you can see we are coming up dry. It's 1120 this evening. We'll see a few more showers, though, working in overnight. I've been watching closely our model updates, and they are actually decreasing our rain chances into the day tomorrow in comparison to what I saw earlier today. So that is good news, but I don't see us going completely dry into the uh, day Tuesday either. So when we put this all in motion, you can see these showers are drifting steadily to the east-northeast, very slow going here. It's not a fast-moving rain chance moving in for us overnight. Right now we're at 57 in Sydney, as well as in Troy, 57 in Springfield, 59 for us in the city of Dayton. Look what happens through the night with our temperatures. Because of the cloud cover overhead, I know during the daytime we want to see the sunshine and that helps us to warm up. But at nighttime, with the cloud cover there, it actually holds the heat in and we see that as a reflection with our overnight lows. We only fall to about the middle 50s by tomorrow morning. Now let me take you through future cast and our rain chances. We move past midnight tonight. We have that cloudy to mostly cloudy sky, and we're still generally dry through 8 a.m. Not going to rule out some light sprinkles or some patchy fog overnight. We move through the day on Tuesday, and we'll have an occasional shower chance that moves in. Notice by 5 o'clock we have a mostly cloudy sky, an isolated downpour perhaps through sunset. After sunset, we look at the clouds decreasing a bit, and we should stay dry into tomorrow night. Same can be said for Wednesday morning. We really start to pump in the heat and the moisture, though, during the day. That creates some instability in the atmosphere, and this is the result. Some pop-up downpours, even a few rumbles of thunder and isolated thunderstorms for the afternoon during the peak heating of the day. But once we get past sunset again tomorrow, or Wednesday night, we lose that instability and the chance for storms. So out the door in the morning, might want a jacket early as we wake up in the 50s. Afternoon, though, we'll need the t-shirt and we'll be warming up. Just pack the umbrella with you because we do have that isolated chance of a rogue shower out there. The rest of the five-day forecast, this is when things really start to heat up. Notice we're at 81 degrees on Wednesday, 85 on Thursday, really feeling like summer. We get back to the mid-80s for Friday and Saturday with a better chance for some thunderstorms Saturday afternoon and again on Sunday. He got in for helping the kids and, and being able to compete game in, game out against somebody else. There it is. His name is literally on the basketball court at Beaver Creek High School, but he never really wanted to talk about that. That's just the man who he is. Tonight, to look at Coach Ed Zink and why, after almost 50 years, he's decided to call it a career.